Hi everyone, Jeremy here from Vito Studio and today a quick video to share with you how to use the music remixer inside of DaVinci Resolve. That's a very powerful tool that can help you to remove vocals or drums from your music or you can basically create individual stems even though you only have one single track. I'm gonna show you how to use that right now inside of Resolve. So if you're ready, let's get into it. All right, so we're in DaVinci Resolve right now, we're on the edit page. You can use that music remixer both on the edit page or on the Fairlight page. The Fairlight page will allow you to do more things like automation, but you can do 95% of it inside of the edit page. And that's what I'm gonna show you today. Just a quick note, this is for DaVinci Resolve 19 Studio only that has been added with DaVinci Resolve 19. So that will not be available with previous version or on the free version of DaVinci Resolve. So you can find a music remixer by either clicking here on your audio file and that will show up right here in the inspector under music remixer, or you can apply it at a track level by clicking here on your audio track and now you will have a bunch of different stuff that you can use, like the voice isolation, the dialogue, and the music remixer, etc. Right now, I'm just gonna do it directly on the audio file. So I'm gonna select that file. Then we're gonna toggle on the music remixer. And here, as you can see, we have a bunch of parameters that we can adjust. We have the voice, drum, bass, other, and guitar. And we can also mute all of those. The slider are basically controlling the power of that element. So here, if you reduce the voice, you're gonna get less voice. If you increase the voice, you're gonna get more voice, but you can also completely kill it by here toggling mute. So here is what the audio sounds at the moment. Let's play it. So as you can see, we got some vocals right there. And now let's just kill it by toggling the mute voice on. So as you can see, it does a pretty good job at removing those vocals. Obviously, that's not perfect. What would be ideal is to have the individual stems, but if you're in a pinch and you don't have access to it or and you want to do that on a song that doesn't have any stems available, that's a very, very good alternative. For example, if you want to use an audio that got some vocals, sometimes the vocal or the high hand can get distracting. So that's just a great way to hear, for example, remove the voice, remove maybe the guitar that was on a higher pitch, and then the other element just to keep the bass and the drums. So that way we only have the rhythm of the song and not the other distracting element in case I have someone that is speaking above that music track. So now as you can see when I play it, I can speak above the music and it will be less distracting than when that's not activated. Now, if I try to speak again, as you can see, when we're gonna have the vocals and the guitar, you're gonna have more trouble understanding what I'm saying. So here I'm playing with me and the vocals, and also got the guitars, and uh, you can probably hear what I'm saying, but it's not as clear, obviously, because there is too many elements. So that's where that tool can really come in clutch uh, to remove some specific element inside of your song, to refocus the hear of the listener into what matters, which is maybe the dialogue, what someone says, uh, in a video or to make the audio track more suitable for accompanying a voiceover, for example. A quick note, another technique that I use a lot for that kind of purposes is here to activate the equalizer and creating a dip in the high end. That way you're gonna basically remove a bunch of frequency that are there in the voice of someone speaking, giving it more space uh, for the voice of the voiceover or the dialogue to come through. So that's like another technique and I think the combination of those two can really, really come handy. Now, you might not want to completely kill the voice, so that way you can also reduce the voice, that way the voice will only appear as a melody, and then maybe increase either the drum or the voice, if that's what you want to put uh, an emphasis on. Now, let's hear it. Now, as you can hear, the voice is just more of a melody in the background rather than something that is overpowering. So that can be also a great way to use that music remixer. If you wish to reset any parameter to the default parameter, you can just select here uh, one of those arrows and I will just bring back the parameter to default. Another thing is here, if you activate the music remixer and reactivate it, it will also default back uh, to a zero on all the slider and uh, same for the checkbox. Now, one last thing, if you want to save some preset, you can always here select 
custom. And then here, let's say, you know, you're going to want a preset where you're going to move the voice. Uh, you're going to remove uh, maybe the guitar other, and then you're going to make some specific adjustment here to the bass and drums by reducing them. Um, obviously, you know, if that's only one parameter, you can't just toggle that up uh, right away and that will be just as fast. But maybe if you have to fine tune something very specific, you can do that right here, then rename it preset one, for example, save it. And that way you'll be able to just uh, select whatever you want directly here. So here is how it sounds by removing the voice, the guitar and other to add something that is maybe more suitable for a voiceover. Converting now the original audio that is very overflow because there is too many elements that are distracting from the voice. And that's very much it. I hope this video was helpful. I think that's just a very powerful tool that can help you in your workflow. Let me know what you think about it in the comment down below and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition, and templates built only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack that contains over 150 elements. Link in the description below or at videodetailstudio.com.